Hi, it's Terry. I'm back with the covered chipboard and um, our uh, haunted house. And this is putting the base together. Um, previously, we did our lighting. So on this piece, you cut out your side pieces uh, and then you have a main base. I've You're using two thicknesses to make the walls. So I've just used con um, score tape and to attach the pieces together. And I usually try to butt the ends first and then let the rest. So once I've got all those, then I'm just gluing them to the edges. Start with the back piece and glue it so it's, fl it's flush along this back edge. And then your side pieces here will be next. They're flush here at the corner because you'll have a little overlap on this piece on each side and flush at the bottom. Easiest way is to lay your base down. Move this over some. Lay your base down and then butt this piece up against it. Let it dry for a few minutes and then butt this piece here and here. Same thing here and here. So now I've got left are the, um, I have these two pieces. And then a piece that runs here and a piece that runs here. There's my piece for there and there's those pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and do those real quick. And these will butt up against this edge and this edge. So I'm just going to apply glue along this edge and along that edge. And I'll lay this down. And then take this piece and fit it right like that. And the same thing on this piece over here. And even though this next piece isn't going right up into this corner, you still want to put some glue there because it'll be hard to reach and your next piece needs to fit up there. Glue that together. Again, I'm budding, pushing it against the edges, making sure it's flush here and flush at the bottom. And it should leave just enough room for these pieces to slide in there. Whoops, wrong piece. When you get done. So now we're going to add on this side piece, a little bit of glue down here, and then glue all along the edge here. And none of this is going to show, so if you get glue that comes up on that other side, don't worry about it. I'm going to show, oh, I forgot. Put a little bit of glue right here on this piece. And then shove this up in there. And attach it firmly to the edges. <sighs> Oops, I keep shoving it away there. Same thing with this one. I'm going to put a little bit right here. I'm going to put some on the edge here. And then all along this bottom. Shove it up inside there. those are on there you might give those just a couple of seconds to attach let them sit up there for a few minutes and it's a good idea if you're going to do this this way to do it on a mat because you can wipe the glue off pretty easy on a mat the next piece fits right over the top around all three edges and butts up to it. And if it's not exact, don't worry about it. That it's all going to get covered again with something else, so. Yeah. 
You just want to add your glue. Oops, I can hold it still long enough, and I'm low on glue, so it's not coming out very easily. There we go. Lay that down and lay that right up next to there. Push it to the edges. And then you want to let that dry for a few minutes. Got that one a little short. And then once it's dry, you're going to flip it over like this. And this piece is going to glue down on top. It's going to be flush at the back, and you're going to have just a little bit of an edge on the, each side, and then around here, and then the front porch area. So again, let's let this dry really good, and then we'll come back and glue this on, and then we're going to start working on the front porch, and that will be it for the construction part. I'll see you in a few minutes.